So if you've watched my channel for a while now, you know that I do like to mess around with older PC hardware that's really starting to get a little bit long in the tooth just to see how far back you can really go to still build competent gaming PCs. And right now, some of the older hardware that I've been uh, playing around with has been the Sandy and Ivy Bridge uh, Intel platforms. However, more recently, I've started to look at more Haswell systems, and that's mostly because these Haswell systems have finally come down in price. And I recently acquired a Haswell H81 motherboard and it wasn't behaving how I wanted it to, but I fixed it. In fact, I upgraded the motherboard with one of these. So if you zoom in on this, this is a BIOS chip. Now, not all motherboards have these socketed BIOS chips that you can just pull out and put in a new chip completely, which is what this trick relies on. And I will preface this video with, I only have experience with this motherboard combination. So if you have a different motherboard with a similar issue, your results absolutely may vary. But to get into it a little bit, the motherboard I'm looking at today is an H81M-A, except that the variant I have is an M11AD, which was actually from a pre-built desktop, whereas the off-the-shelf H81M-A is actually a separate motherboard board they are not identical boards most notably at least to the visual eye is that the off-the-shelf version has a few different video outs not only does it have HDMI and VGA but also a DVI port whereas the uh, pre-built one only has that VGA as well as the HDMI no DVI whatsoever now with that being said the motherboards look virtually identical if you're comparing them side by side it's almost like a find the differences type picture where you do notice a couple of very very small differences but by and large they're almost identical which is where i got this idea now to get into the issue a little bit the motherboard that was the off-the-shelf component was supported quite well by asus and in fact it had a lot of bios updates available to it all the way up to bios 2203 which is the one that's now running on my motherboard that was from the pre-built system anyways point being the 2203 bios for the off-the-shelf variant did not work with the pre-built variant of this motherboard and that was just a security feature that asus locked it down with the problem with that because if asus would have actually supported the uh, pre-built motherboard like i think they really should have if they're going to be consumer friendly uh, they would have actually kept parity with the two different BIOS versions, one for the off-the-shelf version and one for the pre-built version. And yes, I understand, I'm bouncing back and forth, it's probably getting a little bit confusing, but the issue is the motherboard I have from the pre-built system was not supported in the same way. In fact, it had far fewer BIOS updates to the point where Haswell refresh CPUs do not work on the pre-built version of this motherboard, but if you have the updated BIOS for the off-the-shelf version, they work just fine. And more importantly for the video today is that you can't just take a BIOS 2203 from the off-the-shelf version and flash it onto the pre-built version of this motherboard because it gives you a security error and refuses to flash. So the solution that I came up with was to try for purposes of this video in particular to buy a BIOS chip but I bought the BIOS chip for the off-the-shelf variant of this motherboard. And I got this BIOS chip, by the way, on eBay, where you can virtually find almost any BIOS chip for any uh, socketed BIOS chipped motherboard out there. So if you're looking for a BIOS chip for your motherboard, whether it's for something like this or not, check eBay. They're usually about $10 to $15. Mine, I think, was about $13. But I bought the off-the-shelf variant BIOS chip, and I put it into the pre-built motherboard, thinking since the hardware is virtually identical, hopefully this thing work and yeah actually it works fine like it works sort of like it was meant to like it doesn't seem to have any issues whatsoever and um i think that just drives home the point that this practice of uh taking an off-the-shelf component and using it in a pre-built system but then artificially locking down that pre-built system with something as simple as just not supporting the BIOS so that you can put in a fully compatible cpu that is only incompatible because of the uh, BIOS version not being supported. It's just anti-consumer, and I really hate it when companies make decisions like that because it seems really arbitrary, and frankly, it's just not needed. So the moral of the story is very simple. If you're on one of these Haswell generation pre-built systems that's using virtually an off-the-shelf motherboard, but the BIOS was never updated to support all of the Haswell CPUs, then you may want to check to see if the off-the-shelf variant of that motherboard that's not locked down by those BIOS has 
has a BIOS that actually does support those CPUs because if that's the case, a simple trick to try that's not overly expensive whatsoever would be to buy one of these uh, BIOS chips but buy it for the off-the-shelf version of the motherboard that seems to be used in your pre-built system because you may be able to get a little bit more mileage out of a CPU upgrade or just open up your options altogether for those CPU upgrades. Whereas the motherboard that I have would have only supported the original Haswell chips and now with the new BIOS, I can use basically whatever Haswell chip I wanted. But that's the trick. Long story short, uh, the BIOS flip worked and now the motherboard is just an H81M-A no M11 AD tacked onto that, except it's missing its DVI port, but yeah, I'm not gonna miss that anyways. So if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter, at Hoosier Hardware, and as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.